I don't normally do dot and cross um, diagrams. They're not something that happens really in our curriculum here, but I think we can do it. Let's, let's give it a try. COCl2. Let's count the valence electrons up first. So carbon that's in group 14 has four valence electrons, oxygen group 16, sometimes called 6A, six valence electrons. And then in group 17, we have chlorine, but we have two of them. So we have a total of 10 plus 14, 24 total valence electrons for this COCl2 structure. So we want to draw the dot and cross for this. Let's put carbon in the center. We put the least electronegative in the center for lowest structures. We'll stick our oxygen up here and put a chlorine on each side. And I'm going to pause and clean this up so we have some more room. Okay, that feels a little better. So we have 24 valence electrons. I'll do it like a normal Lewis structure first, and then we'll figure out which electrons were contributed by each atom. So let's put a pair of valence electrons between atoms. That'll form our chemical bond. We've used six, and we need a total of 24. So now I'll do the octets on the outer atoms. So we have six. So that's 24 valence electrons. You can see that the chlorines, they have octets, as does the oxygen, but the carbon there in the center, it doesn't. So really what we need to do is we need to move a pair of electrons from the oxygen down here to form a double bond. And when we do that, now the oxygen still has eight, but the carbon has eight as well. So this is a good Lewis structure for COCO2. If you check the formal charges, you would see this is the best Lewis structure, the most likely Lewis structure for COCl2. Let's figure out where these electrons came from, though. So if I look at chlorine, chlorine has seven valence electrons. So it has eight here, so it's sharing one with the carbon. So let's call the chlorine X. So let's say it's sharing this one here, and we'll change these to X as well. So we have kind of a key here. So Chlorine, these are the seven for chlorine, and this is from the carbon. On the other side, do the same. Put these as X's, and then there's six, so there's seven. Chlorine, sharing this, this one comes from the carbon. In the oxygen, we can look at oxygen that has six valence electrons, so let's make these little boxes. One, two, three, four, and then five, six. So these are the valence electrons that oxygen brought to this structure here, this dot and cross structure for COCl2. And then carbon, we said that's four. So there's one, two, three, four, representing the carbon in the dot and cross structure. So that's it. This is my understanding of dot and cross structures. It does make sense from a, a bonding perspective. Um, this is Dr. B with the dot and cross structure for COCl2. Thanks for watching.